welcome to Mugshots Photography's 5 minute tutorials. So here's where I'm going to take you through my retouching editing workflow and show you how I do different sections of it in 5 minutes or less now. What I was finding is my edits were taking an hour, an hour and a half sometimes and I really really wanted to make it half that time, you know, half an hour, 20 minutes and one of the ways I've done it was by breaking down my workflows, my actions, so preparing actions, getting workflows, and trying to do the most important parts in five minutes or less, and challenge myself, can it be done? So what I'm going to show you now is how I've broken it down into step by step, everything from softening skin, using frequency separation to brightening eyes, how I do my eyelashes, and basically taking you through my whole workflow in five minutes or less. So what I'm going to do today is show you uh, I'm going to use a timer. We've got a timer from Chrome. So guys, we've got a timer now because apparently the Mac, for all the money you pay for it, doesn't have a built-in timer that you can see. If it does, and it's just because I'm an old Windows man, someone please, you know, write in, tell me, put it on my Instagram, call me a, a, a doofus, whatever, but show me how to do it. So today what I'm going to show you is frequency separation. So I'm not going to go too deep into it because there's about a million videos online already that do that. And that's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm just showing you how I do it for my images that I post, which is mugshots.ph on Instagram or mugshots.photography for my website. So uh, frequency separation, what is it? Because it used to scare me when I heard about it, but it's basically what people call airbrushing. And it's just taking out imperfections in the skin and making it all nice and smooth and one color or a couple of colors. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how I would use it on an image like this. So as we can see, uh, the lovely Nicole has some beauty spots, um, little bits of makeup on her skin, uh, maybe where we were leaning and brushing. She's maybe just got her, her forehead a little bit red, some red areas around here, some blotchy skin here. And what we're going to do is using median frequency separation, remove that. So. What it does, it makes two layers, one layer to remove the imperfection, so they call it, the spots, the eczema, eczema, whatever, scars. I'm just showing you some areas now that I'd, I'd look at. And then doing the color. So we smooth the color out, we blend the color. I'm literally gonna use two tools, the mixer brush, and these are my settings, 25, 25, 25, 30, and the patch tool. So what we're gonna do is start the timer because I know I don't wanna keep this on. So we'll use a five minute timer. I'll talk you through it. We'll start now. So one of the ways of saving time is to have your actions already done, guys. I've worked on her skin a lot and I know 10, a radius of 10, gives me the smoothness that I need. Not too uh, smooth, but we'll use this, first of all, the patch tool to remove the beauty spots, these spots, and we're just taking one area and removing it to a section of a skin near it that's smoother or that doesn't have an imperfection. I hate that word imperfection because everyone's perfect in their own way. But I'm just gonna, for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna say it. So we're gonna remove all of these areas. So the dark areas, dark spots, we're removing those. I'm not gonna do the neck today. I'm gonna just do little ones like this, little spots on the side, makeup parts. We're just moving some of these on the forehead. Yep, this is real simple to do. But I, like I said, I'm not gonna lie. Wrinkles, smile lines. Sometimes it used to really, really frustrate me when I heard it and I was new to editing. But now I actually enjoy it. I do like editing. So we're just taking these areas here. And yes, before you say it, there's a hundred, well not a hundred, there are various different ways. This is my method. And it might work for some of you guys. I watched a lot of these guys out there and then just took the method that worked for me. So this is, so that's what we've done. That's really quickly. Removed all the dark patches, the spots, the imperfection, the blemishes. And we've just moved them to areas next to it, really. You don't have to go too far. That was on the high copy, so the high as so I remove the spots and the low is where I'm now going to go onto the brush. And I'm gonna take this area of skin and paint it over here. So as you can see, once I start painting, it's changing the color. So it's taking away the redness 
and it's just blending it in. So I keep coming back to the original part and blending it over. So you'll see it will make it look more even. It's going to make it look much more even. So any dark areas, areas where there were imperfections that we removed, you can zoom in, zoom out, take your brush, but basically we're moving the color from over here and we're moving it over the red. So we're taking away the red. Make the brush a bit smaller, take away some of the redness. Yeah. Remember guys, it's just a guide. This is just my way. I'm just trying to show you guys how I would do it. The lightness on our nose, I would bring that down. Change it so we're taking the color from here so it's more even. Yep, yeah. so everywhere's more even. So here, where we had the blemish, we're pulling the colors from around it, covering it, and it's gone. This area here where it's got some redness, I'm taking the color from here and just dragging it, getting rid of the red. Where we've got these spots here, again, I'm taking the color from all around it, covering it. When we had blemishes, just taking the color from around, just brushing it over, making it really smooth. Yep, yeah. making these colors just blend. You can go for both ways, you know, it just gives it a really nice blend. Clear up this area here, make it more symmetrical. Again, I'm going to tidy the colors here by bringing the color from around it. Yep. Yeah. If it's too light, too dark, just make it a little bit more symmetrical. Make it look like it's almost like it's uh, makeup. Right, so I know the timer's going down. So as you can see, I'm going to try and speed through this. I'm going to stop once it gets to five minutes. So there we go. So this is just a speed edit. Guys, like I said, you can sit down and spend an hour. So I'm taking the light part here over the redness. Yep, zoom out and look at what we've got. This is just using frequency separation. And what does that mean? It means just making the skin look smoother. Smoother, more blended in the colors. If I wanted, I can just move a bit up here and take some of the darkness from out of her eye. Yep, so I'm taking the skin from under the dark circles in her eye. Let's move it over, taking it from here. Above it looked a bit red. Yep, that's what you do. So we're taking the color again, bringing it down over the dark areas. So you can bring the dark over the light. You know, go back to what you've seen. Blend it in. Go back and have a look at beginning, after, beginning, after. And that was just as five minutes hit. So as you can see guys, it can be done. Let me turn off the timer. Thank you timer. As you can see, it can be done. I'll zoom out a little bit for you. Have a look. This was the before, this is the after. How much of a difference has that made? You know, you, what you don't wanna do is shape up too much. So you don't wanna change all the shadows too much. I'm not actually painting here, I'm just showing you. So for example, that area. Yeah, so we've kept the jawline, the cheek line, the nose area. This will pretty much be how I would do a speed edit. Um, but you can take your time on it. This is just me showing you how to do it in five minutes or less. Because now I'm looking in this area here, I'd probably smooth that out a little bit. Yeah, I could do that. I'll take it back up and leave maybe a little bit of it. Gives it a little bit more definition but pretty much five minutes on how to do frequency separation. There are longer videos out there. You will find much more in depth. I've seen some for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, up to an hour on just frequency separation, but this is how I use it. Guys, please tune in for more quick tips and tricks, five minutes or less with mug shots. Please go like, follow, share and save on my Instagram. Saving is really important now. So if you could save it and come back, if you think this helped, go show a friend, tell a friend and I will be back with more. Like I said, I'm going to cover everything from how I do the eyes and lips and teeth right up to how I color grade her top and clothing and hair. So thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Bye.